if you could train any animal in the world to be your pet and protector, what would it be and why? I've always wanted to be friends with an owl. A queen BB army by proxy. A moose. No way anyone is going to fuck with me and my guardian moose. A bear, no question. Cuddler and murder machine. Something mischievous like Abu the monkey from Aladdin. He could steal wallets and poison my enemies. A large male mongoose. Go ahead, fuck with it. What was cool when you were young but isn't cool now? MTV. Email address that don't even remotely contain the owner's name. Super soakers used to be the coolest thing ever. And they just kept getting bigger and more creative every year. For a while during my childhood, teen years. Every year's lineup felt like an improvement from the last. I remember eagerly browsing through. The latest Super Soaker catalog to see what kind of hulking monstrosity we might be able to get. Our hands on in time for the summer break that year. It seemed like things were just going to get better and better. Unfortunately, it was not to last ever since the brand was bought out by Hasbro, whether it's through a combination of complicated patents, lawsuits, or complaints from parents that their kids were injuring each other with them. The water guns. Produced and sold after tilde 2002 are a shadow of what they used to be. 12 inches x4, wallets connected to homemade wallet chains made from hardware store 1000 LB test chain. Beyblades. The new ones outright suck. Putting playing cards in the spokes of your bike to make it sound like a motorcycle. What true? Non-paranormal story gives you chills. A few years ago in Saratoga, NY, there was a guy who would break into people's houses just to watch them sleep. Never took anything. Just watched people sleep. They caught him. But it apparently really messed with the minds of the victims. Saratoga Sleeper Creeper. HTTPS www.google.com slash amp slash s slash lawandcrime.com slash crime slash sleeper dash creeper dash sentenced dash for dash burglarizing dash homes dash watchy. Ing people sleep, amp. That French guy Terare who most likely ate a whole baby. The story of Amira Sanchez. Don't look it up if you are sensitive. She was a kid that got a feet trapped under debris during a flood and was impossible to rescue. They could interview her while was slowly dying of infection and hypothermia. HTTPS en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash kidnapping underscore of underscore jc underscore dugard HTTPS en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash kidnapping underscore of underscore jc underscore dugard. A paroled rapist and his wife abducted an 11-year-old girl and raped her on a weekly basis, even forcing her to give birth to two children. All throughout this time he was being monitored by parole officers and psychiatrists who praised him for his supposed rehabilitation and even tried to have him taken off parole several times. Unaware that he was holding three people captive under their noses. This went on for 18 years until he was finally caught when he brought his daughters by rape to a campus and the police officers reported it to his parole officer. When I turned 18, I got my first apartment. I started using the laundry down the street. I noticed the owner would show up within 10 minutes of my arrival. Didn't matter what day or time. Always trying to chat me up. Drive me home etc. Creeper dude. One day. A man I didn't even know was there and yelled at him for staring at my clothing in the dryer while. Touching his hand to the door. He was staring at my panties. It was so uncomfortable. I began to take my laundry back to my parents. About 10 years later. Scrolling FB. I see an age progression for a teen girl who disappeared from that laundry. A week before I began going there. 
I never forgot how scary he was. And would have remembered any missing child posters or even newspaper articles because I was a daily reader then. Turns out, this fucker is the only suspect. Also lived across the street from me so it explains why he always arrived when I showed up. I had to walk past his place with my clothes. She's never been found. The story of Daniel Laplante. There's quite a bit of information so I'll try to sum up the creepiest bits. Daniel met a girl named Annie and took her on a date or two. They talk for a while but eventually. Annie found him to be a bit creepy and dumps him. He continues to stop by the house uninvited but quite sneaky about it. He'd tap on windows and stuff. Get Annie and her sister riled up and scared. They'd try to convince their dad someone was out there but he was often working and didn't hear or see anything. So one night, the two sisters went to the basement to do a seance. Trying to contact their mom who had died somewhat recently I believe. They hear tapping on the walls and run upstairs. All is well for a while. But the tapping and knocking continues. It comes from all over the house and they can't figure out why. One night, Dad finally heard the knocking and investigated. He opened a closet door to find Daniel standing there with a knife or machete. That's scary enough but Daniel was also wearing his late wife's wedding gown. I think makeup too but not sure. Dad fought him off and he was finally arrested. If that isn't weird enough. They found out he had been moving around. Even spending the night inside the walls of their house. That's how he'd watch them and it explains the constant knocking from all over. Prior to this incident, he had raped and murdered a pregnant woman and drowned her two children. I left out a fair bit of details and maybe the timeline is off but I'm telling this from memory. What's something you actually enjoy talking about? Sci-fi and fantasy books. Soldering electronics. Science movies. Conspiracy theories. I don't believe them but I love talking about them. Planes. Love. In general. The love people feel for their friends. Family. Pets. Small hobbies and big hobbies. If you love it. I want to talk about it. What seems cool but isn't. Apparently my fan. It's hot as hell in here bragging about not getting enough sleep working in the video game industry or so i've heard the tea i made five minutes ago i burned my tongue playing hard to get or just being overly distant and uninteresting no it won't make me try harder it'll make me go find someone that actually is interested in spending time with me riding motorcycle without helmet what is the biggest scam that is considered acceptable in society? Textbooks in college. Bonus points if a code must be purchased in order to do the online homework. Convenience fees for online transactions. Become rich in 30 days by X random TikTok entrepreneur. And people really think that a rich guy will help them to become rich too? Needing to buy diamond wedding rings which are crazy expensive just to show, true love. Or just weddings in general tbh. Lottery tickets. At the convenience store I will often see people who are clearly poor and struggling to get by drop. $200 on them without a second thought. Last week a guy in line purchased over $100 of Mega Millions tickets. $2 per play and the odds of winning the top prize are 1 in 310 million. Unfortunately because somebody does eventually win these people keep playing thinking one day. They'll be that person. Short-term loan sharks like Money Tree. If you look into it. It's legal but totally immoral how they work interest on poor people. What things in modern society do people think are useless? but are actually needed for civilization not to fall apart? Those 18-wheelers on our roads that everybody loves to hate. 
sanitation, environmental service crews. Courtesy and good manners. I'm not talking about formal dinner type manners, but just generally knowing how to behave in public. And also teaching yourself and your kids how to interact with others. We don't come into this world knowing how to be considerate and act around others so we don't offend. Learning some social etiquette gives you a framework for fitting into society, which in turn benefits you. Think about things like cutting in line, spraying food around when you talk, eat, simply holding a door open for the next person through instead of letting it slam in their face. As a pharmaceutical chemist, I have lots of friends from my small hometown who think if you don't fix cars or build houses, you're out of touch with reality and part of the problem with society. I'm not wild about the how the industry does many things, but they or their families would be dead from sepsis, diabetes, and a bunch of other disease if they didn't have the drugs people like me and myself personally have developed and help bring to market. At this point in history, artificial light. Artificial light used to be relegated to the wealthy. No innovation has helped bring the masses out of poverty more than artificial light. Farmers. Subscribe, my brothers.